Do you ever wish you could find the perfect font style for your project? Well, you're in luck because today's video will demonstrate how to download and install a free font and import it into your Windows computer so that you can use it for Microsoft Word, Cricut Design Space, and other software you use for crafting. Hi everyone, it's Janet and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a lifelong crafter who loves to teach others how to make cards and other paper crafting projects using traditional stamps and supplies. If you're into the Cricut machine, you'll also find tips and tricks to help you there too. Before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Just click on the bottom icon below at any time during this video. I will be accessing FontSpace, which is a well-known and reputable internet font storehouse that offers thousands of free personal use fonts. Personal use means you are not using the font in items you are selling. So these fonts are okay for items you're making for yourself or others at no charge to them. These fonts are typically free and are a great resource for thousands of free fonts. Now a couple disclaimers before I continue. First, I'm assuming you know a few things about your computer to follow along, such as how to open a website on the internet, how to copy and paste files, and how to create a new folder in your computer's drive. If what I'm saying here doesn't make a lot of sense to you, you might need to find someone who can give you some additional help and then come back here. Second, this tutorial is for Windows users only. I'm sorry, but I don't use a Mac and I don't know how that works. So if you're a Mac user, I suggest searching for another tutorial on fonts for Mac use. Last, I'm not condoning the use of free fonts for commercial purposes and I want to be crystal clear about that. So let's begin. Here we are at the home page of FontSpace. I'll first click on the More option here in the popular fonts bar to locate a font I'd like. Now you can search for a font name by clicking the font name here in the search area, or you can scroll down to find a font that you like. You can also type in a word or a short phrase in the Change Preview box, and this will allow you to see what these fonts look like in the words or the phrase that you're trying to use. And that's a nice feature to help you know what you're getting. Once you find a font, like the one I'm going to use here called Countryside, click on the Download button. It will ask you where you want to save the download. If a, in a Windows computer, there's a folder already called the Documents folder. And I'll show you what that's like on mine. And inside there, I created a folder of my own called Temp Font Folder. And this is where I save all the fonts that I download. It helps me keep track of where I've put them, just keeps it a little bit easier and cleaner. But you can choose a file folder where you want the download saved and, and click Save, like I'm going to do here. Now go to that folder and find the zip file you just downloaded. Right click on it and click Extract All. It will ask you where to put the files, but I suggest to just click on Extract. Now you will see all the files that were downloaded. And typically you're going to see some license information, and there might be one or even two fonts. In this case, there are two versions. I'm just going to take this one, the Countryside Personal Use .ttf. This is the true type, true type font file. Right click and choose copy. All right, now you're going to go to a different folder in your computer. You want to go to your PC and find your C drive. Then click on your Windows drive, which is automatically there and then find your font folder, which is also already there, and then you can paste. I suggest that you just simply go anywhere on your screen, right click, and hit paste. You're probably going to get either a request to enter a PIN or a password in order to install your new font. So I'm going to do that, and you can see it says Installing Countryside. And let's go down now and look and here it is, Countryside Regular. So now I know that I have actually been successful in installing this, uh, this particular font into my computer. So let's close all this down. We're done with our font site 
and we're down, done with the installing. Now we're going to want to actually use it. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to use it in Cricut Design Space. So on my desktop here, I've got Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to open that up. I'm going to choose New Project right there, and then I'm going to hit the Text button. And let's type something in here. I'm just going to put Test New Font. And the default font that's set is going to show up here. But you can go up into the font box where it says Cricut Sans, open that up, and then in the search font, type the name of your new font. In this case, it's Countryside, and it's going to show up. Click on it, and there is your new font. And you can size this, you can move the letters closer together, you can manipulate it any way that you like in order to get it to the point where you will actually cut it. And so these are great ways to get some neat fonts for card making and for vinyl use for uh, home decor projects and so on. All right, that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'm not a techie by any stretch, but I will try to help if I can. Well, once again, thank you for joining me here today. I really appreciate you visiting and I've put up here uh, the link to subscribe to my channel and also to a couple more videos that I think you might be interested in seeing if you like this one. So I hope to see you back soon, but until then, keep crafting. Bye!